hello friends today i will share cutting and stitching of umbrella cut dress and for that i am using this polka dot crepe fabric this is 3 meter of fabric so let's get started for cutting firstly i'll fold the fabric just take both ends and join them together and this is the one fold fabric is on fold from this side now i will join this end point to the opposite side and turn the fabric like this So I have folded the fabric diagonally for umbrella cut dress and now I will mark the measurements. Firstly I will mark the shoulder. Shoulder is half of shoulder measurement. In my measurement shoulder is 13.5 inch. So half of it is 6.75. Now I will check where I will get 6.75 and I will mark the point. Here uh, fabric is little bit uneven so I will just mark where all four points are now I will check where I will get 6.75 inch so this is the point I've got 6.75 inch so I will mark a point here now from this point I will mark the length of my dress length of my dress is 44 inch so I will mark a point at 44 inch and 1 inch for seam allowance now I will mark all the vertical points from, from this point mark a point at 6.5 inch from this point go 7 inch downwards and mark the point this is the waist point again from waist point go 7 inch downwards and mark the point this is the hip point now I will extend these points So I have extended these points, now I will mark the burst, waist and the hip measurement. In my measurement, burst is 32 inch. So I will add 2 inch of ease, 32 plus 2 inch is 34 inch and divided by 4, I will get 8.5 inch. So I will mark a point at 8.5 inch. Similarly, for waist. In my measurement waist is 26 inch, I will add 3 inch of ease because I want little loose fit of this dress. So 26 plus 3 inch I will get 29 inch and divided by 4 I will get 7.25 inch. So I will mark a point at 7.25. And for hip I am adding 4 inch of ease. In my measurement hip is 36 inch. I'll add 4 inch and I will get 40 inches divided by 4 I'll get 10 inch so I'll mark a point at 10 inch 
Now I will join these points. Now for bottom, keep the measuring tape on the waist point, join it to the hip point and take it till the end and mark the point, join these points. And now I will join this point to this point with a slight curve now on the burst line I will mark the same point at 6.75 inch and join these points from this point go one inch inwards and mark the point now join these points too For neckline from the center point I will mark a point at 3.5 inch I am making little broader neck if you want a narrow one you can mark a point at 2.5 inch or 3 inch from this point go half inch downwards and join these points this is shoulder slope from this point I will take the depth of my neckline which is 6.5 inch for both front and back so I will mark a point at 6.5 inch again from this point go 3.5 inch outwards and mark the point now join these points to form a rectangle Now I will make the round neck shape in this rectangle. And I will add 1 inch of seam allowance to the end of the dress. and join these points too now I will make the shoulder curves this is the front shoulder curve And this is the back shoulder curve so the marking is completed and now I will cut the dress firstly I will cut the back shoulder curve
So I have cut the dress. Now I will separate the back. Just take out the back from the dress and again fold the fabric. And now I will cut the front shoulder curve. So cutting off my dress is completed. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video. If you do, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I'll see you soon. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.